lead detective Patrick Vitalero, who I'd like to just say, Detective Vitalero has made this case a priority, has been his number one cause over the last two years. He has worked tirelessly to make this case come to a positive conclusion. Very proud of uh, your effort and the job that you've done. We also have second chair detective Jeff Anderson, detective Brad Darty, Wes Huddleston, Howard Fryer, and Jonathan Smith from our robbery homicide team. From the state attorney's office, we have Clay County Director Pam Hazel and Division Chief Ashley Terry. Thank you for attending. Thank you for being part of the process with us and working with us hand in hand to make this moment possible throughout the investigation and the process. I would like to introduce Dorian's parents, Helen and James Williams. Mrs. Williams, as we just spoke before, you've been a steadfast supporter and I appreciate your faith in us and I appreciate you being by our side through the process. Thank you for being here. We're honored to have you alongside of us through this whole thing and right here at this moment today. Mr. and Mrs. Williams won't be making any statements today, uh, mostly because the, the cases and the court proceedings will have further announcements at the conclusion of the case. Before I turn this over to Sergeant Mike Calhoun, who will provide some of the specifics in the case, I'd like to publicly thank all the members of the robbery homicide unit, the detective division, and the other CCSO members, both past and present, who have given their all to see Dorian's case reach its conclusion. Thank you all for your dedication, your determination, and seeing this case through to this point. This moment is only possible due to the relentless pursuit of the truth by our detectives and our partnership with the state attorney's office. I'm proud to be a part of this team. We want to assure the citizens of Clay County that this case has been a priority from the day it occurred, and we want you to know that we will relentlessly pursue anyone who wishes to harm the citizens or exploit the citizens of Clay County in any way, shape, or form. At this point, I'm going to turn over to Sergeant Calhoun. After Sergeant Calhoun briefs you, we'll have a limited number of questions. Again, this case is in court proceedings, so we'll answer a limited number of questions. Sergeant Calhoun. Good afternoon. My name is Sergeant Mike Calhoun. I'm with the Robbery Homicide Unit here at Clay County Sheriff's Office. I'll give you an overview of, of the case specifics and then I'll answer any questions. On October 17, 2017, the Clay County Sheriff's Office responded to the 300 block of Capella Road in Orange Park. Uh, the response was in reference to a death investigation. Uh, members of my team, the Robbery Homicide Unit, um, assisted with the District 4 Medical Examiner's Office were able to determine that the victim, Dorian Mann, uh, suffered a gunshot wound and was deceased. Uh, that case was ruled a homicide by the District 4 Medical Examiner's Office. Um, like the Chief said, through a relentless pursuit, the detectives were able to identify two suspects in the case, Henry Williams from Jacksonville and Jakari Anderson, also from Jacksonville. On May 7th of 2019, this year, Henry Williams was taken into custody and charged with armed carjacking. Um, on October 7th, 2019, Jakari Anderson was arrested at her home in Jacksonville and charged with second-degree murder and carjacking. I'll take any questions you all may have. What each of those two How were you able to Jakari and Henry are associates. They, they're, they're known to each other and been and friends. Have they had a history of this kind of Not that we know of, no ma'am. Do they have criminal history in general? Yes, both do have a criminal history. What, are those, what does it typically entail? Um, drug charges, um, nothing of a violent nature. After he was, Henry was taken into custody on May 7th, Um, there were several individuals involved in this case. All some cooperated, some didn't. Um, we won't get into specifics on uh, Henry's cooperation at this time. And are there more than two arrests coming in this? Would there be a third, or just those two are your primary? No, sir. All suspects uh, involved in this incident have been apprehended. Why is she facing additional charges? Well, we believe our investigation um, shows that this this incident occurred during a carjacking. Um, Mr. Mann lost his life during that incident. Um, obviously, you know, only one person um, can be responsible for the death, but both were involved in the incident. Was this a difficult case two years long with not a lot of progress until recently? I've been doing this 22 years, 17 years in investigations. This is probably one of the best put together cases I've seen as far as um, the circumstances. Um, it was well put together. A lot, a lot of work was put into it. It, it's, it stands alone um, as far as a difficult case. What do you mean as far as put together? As far as investigatory tools? That, 
So for two years it was investigated. This is not a case that was investigated for six months and set to the side and then something just developed. Um, Detective Vitalero, Detective Anderson, they never stopped investigating this case. It literally took two years to put this together. Um, dozens of witnesses were talked to. Did you suspect them for a while? And if so, what changed to where you could pin something on them? Their names um, generally came up early in the investigation, um, but you know, to, to prove that their involvement um, took a lot of work. Did they cause any issues since, I guess, since that happened that you're aware of? Not that we're aware of. Why were they targeting him? Do we know? Um, the vehicle. Just simply, they it was, it was a, car? It, this was a simple carjacking, went, went bad. So that would be a question you'd have to ask Henry and Jakari. I can't answer that. Thank you very much. We appreciate you all for coming today.